Welcome to Magic Gathering Strat. Uh, that angel sure looks good. Uh, it has to be the first pick here. Surely it's better than Noble Hierarch. Of course it's double white, but uh, I'll take it. Uh, what else? Yeah, I think it is the angel fairly clearly. So I'm sending a lot of green stuff here, so maybe white red will be my thing. We shall see, but I'm taking the angel here. Uh, this is the Patreon Milestone Goal video for June 16th. Eldrost and Mortar Pod. That's good in the tokens deck. Trash's Grasp, not too great. Rest Restless Apparition seemed pretty good when I played against it. That will have me staying in white, committing myself deeply into white. Oh, Soul Eater! Soul Eater or Apparition, I think it's Soul Eater, it's a much smaller commitment. Uh, tell me if I'm wrong. Yeah, I'm taking the Soul Eater. Uh, Chancery, Guile. Interesting. Copper, Carapace, Firebird. That's a lot of red. Chancery looks sweet. Come of Ancient Law, Fire Slinger, Rusted Relic, Moonlit Strider. Am I just gonna take the chance here? Should I take the Guile? But it's just the 6-6. Six, 6-6 six. Six, six unblockable. Isn't that super good, really? That or the Chancery. I'm gonna take the Chancery. I'll end up in some sort of blue-white control deck. That's not where I want to be. Brute Force, Rootkin. Scion of the Wild. It looks, looks like green is still open, right? Maybe I should be going into white green here. Steady Progress, Thoughtcast, Vapor Snag, Narcolepsy. I don't want to be the dirty white blue control deck because that's not a deck in this form. Rune Servitor is absolutely non committing. Predator. Is the, I'm taking Sign of the Wild and go, trying to go white green. Even though that was exactly what I passed. Vaxman, Baku, Glint, Hawk, Idol, Sanctuary, Artisan. I loved him in. Uh, yeah, what format was that? But I played him. Plague Drusalka. Primark, Norlid Pack, what's the picker? Okay, let's take the Sanctuary here. Clean talk Idol. It's just a white to become a flying creature. No, I'm taking the land. Uh, okay. Cloud Elemental, Fortify, Moonlit Strider. I think I'm getting cut off white here. Tukatang Talid, Strider for Primark. Is this any good? I think I need to get some cheap creatures. Am I crazy if I take the Tukatang Talid? Flayer Husk, definitely creature, Plummet, Sylvan Bounty, 
telling time. Hmm. How about falling into fire color here? Take the Sylvan Bounty, can cycle for some lands. Or is it the Flare Husk? I think it's the Flare Husk. Seven to haste persist. Gruel Turf Gnarled Pack. Just skimmer. Yeah, everything is bad. Am I gonna start to pick up spirits here? We haven't seen too many spirits. Or is it a wasted pick? I'm gonna take the Gruel Turf. And I think I'm going Fire Color. And now I'm really tempted by the Artisan. But it's the Rootkin. Or the Talid. I would feel like I'm taking the payoff cards before I'm getting the the small guys. How good is this guy? I'm taking him. A restless apparition went all the way around. That probably means that it is super bad. And I'm taking it. It seemed very good to me. Riot Earth. Fits the five color team pretty well. How, how easy is it to proliferate anything? That would go against, Eldrazi Temple would go against anything I tried to do. I'm taking the progress, but I'm not gonna play it. Okay, I'm looking for the Gnarled pack. World Heart Phoenix. Okay, now I'm some sort of five color mess. Still green white at the core. Looking for two drops. Mystic Snakes, Celestial Perch. Spectral Procession must be pretty good. Guildmage has a very good late game then. Commune with Nature, Sundering Vitae, Flamekin, Smoke Braider, Rune Servitor, Otherworldly Journey. Is it a Guildmage? How good is this guy compared to the Return to Ravnica? I think it's just Spectral Procession, isn't it? Or the Perch. Or the Guildmage. Or Bone Splinters. If we are truly going five colors. Now, I'm taking the Spectral Procession. Crusher, Splinter Twin. Muldrifter. Do I just love Muldrifter way too much? That will truly put me in five colors. But what else is there? There's rioters, but they'll put me in five colors too. So I am gonna take the Muldrifter. And now I'm definitely looking to pick up anything with five colors, like this Wayfarer's Bubble. Necroskitter. Guildmage. Elemental Dude, Death Denied. Evolving Wild seems. Is it better than Wayfarer's Bubble? I think it is. Am I missing some big pick here? Expedition Map. Rival Grim Afflection. 
That's minus two, minus two then. I think I'm just fixing now. I think the expedition map is the right pick then. Or well, maybe fixing isn't at a premium here. Another restless apparition. That's not a five color card. The rioters are. So do I pick more fixing or do I pick the rioters here? Or tribal flames. Tribal flames over rioters. I think that's correct. Death mark, not too bad. Well, I had my share of cathodians. Crusher. Aquastron spider. Am I crazy if I want to pick up the, the crusher here? I already have three Karoo lands. I'm gonna take the crusher. Aqueduct suddenly looks very attractive. Thrive, yep. Okay, what's the upper limit of Karoo lands you can have? How good is Gutshot? Probably not that good. Fickle Slicer, 2-2 two, two guy. Smash the smithereens, thrive. I'm gonna take the death mark here. That might look random, but it's, uh, it sure looks like a great sideboard card. And now I'm gonna take the Celestial Perch. Dust Counter Bat. Rioters or Crusher. Yeah, I think one crusher is quite enough. I'm gonna take the Demir Guildmates. Commune with nature, is that any good? An army of rioters. Take the foil. Take the sign in blood. That's not something I'll be able to play. And of course, Demir Gilgage look, Guildmage looks pretty hard to play as well. Niv miss it. He is a fantastic bomb, of course, but double red, double blue seems pretty hard to pull off. Whereas these tribal flames uh, looks much easier to pull off. Oh, the worm! Worm or tribal flames? I am in a pretty good position to be able to cast a worm, but I already have the expensive cards, or do I? What's the pick here? Arrest, probably. Arrest or tribal flames? I'm gonna pick the tribal flames. Uh, Air Servant, Savage Twister. <laughs> Savage Twister was an insane bomb in its original format. And I still think it is. 
So I'm gonna take the Savage Twister. Here's a cranial plating that I can't use very well. Blood over Necrogenesis. Lower scale Quartal is supposed to not be very good in this format. Uh, rampant Growth. How many enablers do I have? Or do I just pick the Narcolepsy? I'm gonna take the Rampant Growth. But do I have enough stuff that pays me off? I think I do. Okay, I'm probably not gonna play the Guild Mage. There is another Scion of the Wild. But how many creatures am I playing? I, I sort of have lost the... Uh, the creature thing. Swear of the Suns. Well, Swear of the Sun seems pretty good here, but I'm gonna take another Scion. I think. For each color, return up to one target card of that color. Is that really playable? I don't know! Do I just need another 2-drop for the Aquastrand Spider? Or maybe an Alloy Mirror to fix my mana and do some serious blocking. I think I need a 2-drop here. So I'm gonna take the Spider. Sickle Slicer Telling Time. Another Soul Eater. Easily. Okay. I can't play five Karulans. Do I need the Skyrich Manta? I think I just need the mana more than that. Blue green seems pretty good. I'm taking the Karuland. Wow, Blink Moth Nexus. That's not very good. Firebird. Three tree fly for six. Stupid 1-1, one, one. that's not something I need. Take the Kami of Ancient Law. I still don't know about uh, Aedas Snipe. Do I need more fixing? It's, it's a ton of fixing. I don't think I need another stupid 6-drop. I'm taking the fixing. Spider. For that early blocking party. I think I can play the World Heart Phoenix. Is it any good? I'm gonna try it. This will be interesting. Looks like red is definitely my third color and that I am not very black. So the guild mage is leaving us. I am taking the narcolepsy as another removal. Death Denied seems pretty far out. I draw through cards for... Uh, that seems okay. And a map. Happy Sages. Uh, two instill infle inf infection in the sideboard. Alright, I'm gonna play 17 land here. Uh. Do I want to flare husk in a deck like this? Probably not. 
don't think I want the Talid. But I have them if the opponent has uh, one toughness creatures, they can be in the sideboard. How big is this guy gonna be? I don't think he'll make the cut. The sages are probably out. Uh, double, that's triple white. That's not part of my deck anymore, is it? So much fixing, it's crazy. Okay, let's experiment with some lands here. We are not, how many red lands do we have? Maybe we'll need two, one, one. This is 15 land. Definitely need more green. Because if we don't have green, what do we do? How many are green? Well, now we have eight green man. Is that enough? Probably yes, because of the expedition maps. Uh, two planes, Chancery, Sanctuary. Uh, the Battle Gears Angel will be hard to cast, but it looks so good. Sixteen creatures, forty-two cards. I think I can't support the Restless Apparition then. 41 cards. I want to cut something that's not a creature. Removal, removal, removal. So how good are the science in like a normal deck? Not very good, but is that what I want to cut? How good is the Gambit? I don't have anything for proliferate. Roadkin ally seems pretty weak too. I don't have any plus one plus one counter. Maybe I want the Norlid pack over the Roadkin ally, actually. Still need to cut one card. Okay, how much fixing is this? Um, there is the Rampant Growth. There is two Expedition maps. There is the Evolving Wilds. There is the Cycler. So I have four ways of getting any land. I'm not sure about the Sign of the Wilds, but what is better and what can I cut? I have six spells that are not removal. They are Gambit, four mana fixers, and a search So that's a removal too. I want to play the Gambit. Could I really cut a Scion of the Wild? Or is that crazy? I think I'm cutting a sign of the wild, going down to 14 creatures. 
Probably means that I should be cutting this second Sign of the Wild too. But for what? A restless apparition is uncastable. What about the Demir Gilgage? Gilmage. He is very hard to cast. And I don't want to go down one more creature. Should I play the sages? I'm gonna do it. Let's do it like this. Have I now gone too slow? I'm really reliant on having to find green mana, but I actually have 12 sources of green mana, I think. Yes. No. 11, because I need green mana for Sylvan Bounty and Rampart Growth. But I have 8 green lands. I think this is my deck. It might be a mess. But it sure is doing powerful things. Maybe World Heart Phoenix is really weak, but I want to try to play it. So this is my deck. I'll do this in separate videos because I'm recording on the snowball and it might delete the entire video if the snowball disconnects, which it sometimes do. So I apologize for that. See you in round one.